Yeah. Apparently, I'm hopeless when it comes to operating that. I'm really, really hopeless when it comes to operating that. So, again, this is our beautiful booth. We are having watercolors, we are having rubbums, we are having dice, we are having IOD. And we have the demo table where it's just going to be my kingdom for the next half an hour. Okay, so I just... Hi, hello, Lisa. <laughs> okay, so I'm going that... Giving that to Rika. Rika is here. She's going to give you a nice wave. Adam is here, right? Helping. Hi from Canada. She's going to uh, just hold it for me. She's the beautiful helper. So if you have any questions, she's going to let me know, okay? So I'm getting there. Hi from the Netherlands. Hello. This is Rika from the Prima booth. Yep. I'll go across around. Okay. Here we are. It's very, very hard. So. Thank you for your patience, <laughs> and we are going to start again. Hello, so, hello from Norway. As I was saying I'm before, from we have a new release now coming. Thank you for marketing. all the cards. And the new release will be, of course, metallic paints, mm -hmm. which are beautiful, rich colors, which contain shimmer. So it's metallic hello. finish. You can use them for uh, just painting like any other acrylic paint, of course, but also for techniques like dry brushing or just highlighting. I'm going to show you how you can do effect like this very easily. Go so this is one group of paints called uh, Art Alchemy Metallic. And there's you. another group of paints which is called Art Alchemy Gorgeous. Opal Magic. We have uh, 12 of the metallic and 8 of the opal magic. Opal magic is iridescent, which means there is no pigment in it at all. But there is two colors of uh, shimmer inside and they change the color depending on the light. So this is amazing effect and that is going to be one of the coolest things ever. I just love this effect. Then the next thing I'm, we are going to do, there will be texture. You can do it with mini art stones and art stones. Mini, of course, is smaller, right? <laughs> Looks like nice sand, but it is very light. And then, <laughs> Adam, thank you. You can see the art stones are bigger. Oops, sorry, you can put finger. them inside of the gel, or you can put them inside of the modeling paste, or you can put on the top, like sprinkle, Hello. touch, Hello, everybody. and it's going to stay in place. This is um, two options, and option number three is texture powder, which is the same Hello, as Lisa. these ones, but just very, very fine. So you can use these to make your textures out of paint, or out of art mediums. I will show you that in a moment. So they go here on the side. So a lot of and information I'm also going coming. I'm to show you the new, super, super new thing. Mm -hmm. Heavy body gel, which is the heaviest gel medium we have. One of the heaviest one on the market too. It's almost like Vaseline consistency. So it doesn't come out at all. Ah, it's just super look at it. Ah. <laughs> super nice for gluing. And uh, Thank it's you going for to be very for any kind of collage technique. So I will show you that and we can just start making some nice samples. So for example, this is how you can put these things together and use white gesso and some sprays you. and some metallic finish. This is white version and this is the black, black version. Finish. The same techniques but the gesso was black. And of course there was more of the paint Gorgeous, and there was no right? spray. So you can see how all that together helps you create look like that, okay? So let's start with the texture. If you have uh, any kind of art mediums from Art Basics line. At Hi home. from Donna. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. And if you have gloss gel, for example, or modeling paste, you can use these as a base to mix something inside. Last year I was showing how you can use glitter, make glitter place out of the gel medium. Hello, or everybody. You can make sand paste. Hi from India. This Hi from time Indonesia. we are going to make mini art stone paste so it's going to be look that is uh, similar to this one here okay. Let me show you. so you will see this is natural color of the stone because the gel gets transparent and it's permanent so you can paint it you can touch it it's nice and matte very easy that's the best part so just to show you how it looks like on chipboard this is another sample I made before very very simple so mixing takes a uh, about one minute. <laughs> so Holland is so proud of you. Thank you. So, we need the palette knife. I just try to sit to be a bit taller. Maybe. <laughs> and it may be 
modeling paste it maybe gel medium whatever you like so you can just take a mount Around oh, fingers. <laughs> so this is one of the, base, uh, about the basic mixes. You can take any surface, for example the tag, Do you but, hear her now? You know, canvas, fabric, whatever you like using, anything. Okay. Right? Take the stencil of your you know, favorite design. Uh, hopefully not too uh, fine, because if it's too fine, it may not go through the stencil because it's very coarse. And then you pick you pick the pattern and then with any texture paste that has some kind of coarse finish it's good to put quite a lot of the paste to make sure it's going to stay nicely so you put uh, she mixed layer. the 3d gel with like the this. new art stones then you can see this is darker color this is lighter because this is wet and this is dry already so from here we will go to here in about maybe 10 to 20 minutes not look how dry. gorgeous that is three to five minutes with the heating gun so awesome texture in no time now we have a lot of leftovers so you can take the leftovers and you can make some nice effects if you want journaling first yeah you, you can, can add paint on book. top when Make it's dry, or then you can just nice uh, add <laughs> mica powder, for example, so to the mix. So I will take maybe one Let me just ask about the stitches. Mind. They're asking if you're going to be in stitches in the UK. No, not this time. I'm sorry to say we are not going. I'm so sorry. I wish I could. I wish I could. But um, hopefully next year. Yeah, fingers crossed, everybody. Yeah, we can't. Well, it is a bit too much to do three shows every year, so we decided to go to Frankfurt. But if you have any questions, you can always go to the website and we are going to have a lot of new tutorials coming because the design team already got the boxes, so you will see the demos and tutorials coming every Monday, every Friday again. So it's going to be a lot of uh, paint, a lot of these new things used because the girls are so excited. So now, we've got the same uh, the same idea we would like to make something more to this mixture so we have texture at the color so if you like a metallic finish you may use some of the mica powders this is from the older release so metallic colors or nice metallic vintage pink whatever you like let's do copper copper is really pretty color and the same yeah. way as uh, you can just it's add it to just the gel, a 3d you can gel it with the art stones what she showed right. and now she's adding the mica powder of course, the more you put the more so we shiny get colored the is going to be and you just the same way mix it in put in tag and in a moment you have texture paste with the copper finish and this is going to go to the full color when the gel will dry because yep. gel gets transparent so you have it as it is very easy to apply you can take another tag another yeah, stencil, gorgeous right new effect just to show you how it looks like maybe i have one that is 3d gel I don't with the art stones one. and mica powder so three ingredients right, so i just take quickly the same stencil i have just apply it and, and voila. From the leftovers and a little bit of mica powder we Let just me made just show you. texture paste with the uh, color inside any color you like if you don't have mica you don't have to worry you may use acrylic paint metallic acrylic paint you cool, may use right ink. any kind of uh, medium yeah, that has really fun. color will be very good for this mixture because you can simply add more into that so if you don't have mica powders you can look at the metallic paint instead it's really cool effect if you mix 
uh, some of these silvers or golds and it looks really really rich Let so just you can peek. look at yourself at home and I'm sure you would have something that just is look at those colors the color already so this is how you awesome. can make art stone or mini art stone paste very quickly and you can use it as a background for your project so this kind of look yeah you're going you to love the micas they are awesome your composition mm -hmm. and it's going to give you nice texture once you start brushing the colors on the top so you can see there was sand and there was modeling paste here so different kind of textures in the background just yeah. quick idea how yeah. to start that's Some awesome people think if it's white canvas if it's empty they are afraid they don't know what to do if you don't know what to do make texture so it's one of the easy ideas I want you to see one more thing how you can use paint and texture powder to make mix which is for example similar to concrete right mm -hmm. so it's going to be texture paste that is metallic but it looks like a delicate texture finish almost like stone finish so this was silver color and uh, texture powder so if you like more industrial look you can do it really too. cool really cool i just clean you my are space. the best they are loving it oh thank you so much well thank you for coming i know it's middle of monday it's not good time but i was hoping you may be somewhere at home i hope there's somebody from poland i've seen mona so it will be nice yep, to have there, there's Poland, there's yes. all over the world. Thank you. Oh, that's so nice. And when will Mixed Media Place have all this? Oh, yes, of course. Yeah. As soon as we can. So hopefully, because it is ordered, it's going to come in the next two weeks. Yeah, not, did you hear? Two weeks? Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. If there will be no problem of the customs, we're going to look into our boxes and check every single item. I don't Thank think you. So, but Hopefully two weeks. I just need to confirm with Prima, but I know they ship already. So your local stores, if they ordered, they should have it sold. So mixed media place, including of course every time, full uh, line of my products. We have to have it. So just watch us. Okay. Yeah. Please. Watch. What's the Facebook? I'm sure there is notion when they are in. <laughs> Just to show you another idea for the mix, texture powder comes, it's the same kind of mineral used, but it's very, very fine powder. And this one you can also put Hello inside Hello from the Argentina. Paint. Thank you so much so for tuning make, in. take this, for example, let's make this concrete mix. Silver uh, spoon acrylic paint from the metallic line. So, nice pretty acrylic paint. Yeah. Not too much because we need just for one time. This part and the small part. And uh, they all have the texture made of silicone on the other side. So you can have Thank you texture. for tuning in. Palette knife and it, brush in one. It's really so early. Mm. They come in the similar package as before, but there are three big brushes you. in one set. And they are three smaller brushes in another set. Oh, and nice. every tool is different. So there is no double. Yeah, you need to get those. Okay. So I use one of the bigger ones. And you just mix it together. And if you feel this is too thick, like I put a lot of powder, you may add more paint or you may add some water. And in a moment, it's so there's to be water, there's texture powder, so and the like new acrylic paint. Wet, so you put more powder. And more powder. Perfect. Now I close it again, just in case. And I can play on another tag. This kind of mixture dries quite quickly, so you can just use it to make nice effect. You can play with texture tools in it if you want. You can apply it smooth, whatever you like. Of course, if you use texture tools, the head, the, the thicker the consistency is. Concrete the is so hot. You will see of the effect. Yeah, okay. yeah, so it's so silver. Cool. Silver acrylic paint. How to create your own texture. Let me show you. Yeah, so you have concrete effect, for example, then you can play really cool. with the tools. This is 
is not really a good example now because let me just it. try to hold the camera. Yeah, no, 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 no. It's yeah, spread it. Yeah, Here you go. This what one. You like? Texture powder. One it's of the new. Powder. It is. It one is of the new ones. White. It's not exactly 100% white. It's like a creamy white, and you can use it for whatever you like. So that would be one of the ideas. And let me show you now a little bit more. For example, the texture color of like this. Yeah, so you can work into that, hopefully. The other effect. You see? If you would like to see more Linda from the design team, she made very nice post about uh, different textures she made with the um, brushes already. It's on her yeah, uh, that's Facebook. Yeah, that's the powder that makes them too. thicker. So Linda did a great job. She was really playing nice with the paint. So and if you would like to see it in nice photos, there would be no problem. So we have that all done. Now we can... All yeah, it was texture powder, acrylic paint and some water, but you can more. do it just so with the two ingredients and it this. makes like a concrete this is kind what of look. I made before. So you can see it's a mixture of some texture and also some lace. I wanted to glue down elements so I can show you on this canvas how you can use heavy body gel to glue down the elements. So we are going to do something. There's going like to be a tutorial video, so this and I'm already. pretty sure that, that this the one is I going to be on YouTube. I'm not totally sure, but so I'm just taking out some elements. I'm hoping we're getting to YouTube as well. Some big cards, so you can see you can really glue down big elements if you want to. Um, some flowers, some metal pieces. You can see what is in my bag. Anything. Yeah, yeah, so. I'm just trying to take out different shapes and sizes so you can make oh, nice composition. Right? Whatever okay. you like. Thank you for all They're the hearts. They're the older mechanicals, so we have now the new collection too, but these will be still available, most of them. But if you like the new finish, it's here on the wall. You can see the new cogs, new butterflies, new pocket watches. Some of them have the last them? finish. So they look really cool. And you can just apply them as they are, or you can try to paint them, of course. So let me just glue some elements down to you. And some buttons. You know, there's always use for good buttons somewhere. So I'll just get ready quickly. You can see the buttons, they have a shank for the leg. No, there's no leg anymore. Ready? So, it, this is not even texture. So, for some glues, it is a problem to work on that because it's a lot of glue you have to put on. So, instead of using glues, I really recommend using art mediums because they have a lot of body instead and they can help sit on the surface. So, you can use modeling paste. This is the one that I was using in the classes for a long time this year. Every single class it was this or it was 3D gel but some people said we want thicker we want to make it super solid so we did super solid you know you ask your habit yeah we have super solid it is super heavy and it's really like vaseline so if you take it out it is just look at it like awesome. solid and because it is gel if you like to, to do mixed media that's okay, the so thing this is the heaviest medium and probably because of that the most sticky medium we have now too so i will try to build the composition around the heart first so good advice if you are gluing on the uneven surface don't be shy just put a lot of the paste or gel did you see that now and if you work on the canvas it's good to have something on the other side because sometimes it just goes down. Some people like to take ink pad or a lid right? and then you can put it under. This is too big, maybe this one. Perfect. And then when you press, it doesn't go down. Yeah. Now there is a problem. That Some people super heavy like gel the is awesome. showing up. I don't feel the problem, but I understand some people do. So <laughs> good advice because all these mediums are water-based, you can clean it off easily using water and brush. So, dip the brush in the water and take it off and put it back in the jar. <laughs> okay? So again, 
take the brush, take it off, put it back, clean. Right? So yeah. you can do it this You're way. getting a lot Remember of Remember that this is sticky, tapes and tricks. So put the brush in the water. Yeah. Yes. Okay? Yeah. So I know some people are really clean, crafters, they would like to have perfect. So this is the way you can do it. And now I repeat the same step. Right? I add it, press it, putting my fingers on the other side. And you can see with the gel, it sits in place. Incredible, so right? Even if you would be moving your project, that's You're still, still wet gel. Kind of safe to add more elements. Still wet so gel, but it's just it sticking the there. Then it's going to come off, but then you glue it back, it's okay. And that is how the heavy gel works. Now I can take other elements quickly and work on the other composition around it. And again, if it's going to be uh, a lot of elements, Make sure you put quite a lot of the gel on the other side because some of the embellishments are dimensional and it may be not enough just to be um, saving product. Uh, it's better to have more. So if you're trying to glue the more button, is more. you go like this, it may not work, right? Especially if it's a lot of lace. It's always good, more important to put like thick layer and then press it down so it's going to sit in the place. So this way you build the composition you like. Just whatever, you put it together. So for example from this you can go to this and you can see this is the same part. So this one was of course painted with black gesso. And I was using elements made of metal. This is a similar flower to this one. It is keyboard. And I was using heavy body gel to glue it all down. And then there's some lace, anything you want to use. Wood, plastic, acrylic, glass, <laughs> whatever you want. And after that, we need to dry it. Drying time takes probably about half an hour, maybe one hour if you are super, super uh, dimensional. Or you can use universal tool, heating gun, right? And with the heating gun, probably five minutes, ten minutes if it's a big project, and you just give it a nice dry. Don't go like this because you may burn some part of it, especially the lace. But just use the heating gun or the hair dryer if you don't have the heating gun. So it doesn't matter. But you can see how solid it is. We try and we check with our fingers. If the elements are not moving, it means we can paint. It means the gel is solid on the top. So from here, we can use white or black gesso. Right, so this is dry already. I know it's cheating, but you can... Magic. Yeah, this is dry already. Magic in action. Right, you can paint it black, you can paint it white, whatever you like. So you can go from here to here using black gesso. This is the black heavy gesso from the release from a year and a half ago. Or you can use white gesso. I had white gesso somewhere. You can use white gesso. Yeah, this is probably just painted once. And the effect will be a little bit different to start. So I can show you how the color will work on these. Just advice about working with gesso, if you paint with white, you may need more than one coat. This was black, this little button was black, so of course one coat of white gesso is not enough. You put one, let it dry with the heating gun, put another one, it's going to be nice finish. If you put black gesso, usually one coat is enough, it's very, very dark. So in a way, it is faster to work with the black gesso. So we have collage done. They love your gessos. Thank you so much. Just to show you the consistency of the gesso, because some people are asking what is heavy. It means it is thick. So, it's just to show you, it, does, it's not, it doesn't work like paint exactly. It's more almost like paste, which means you can also create effects using gesso and texture tools, which is good advantage. You know, it's an advantage for some people. So if you have any kind of the texture tool and I'm not lucky oh no I am lucky I found one right so you have the texture tool you can also make some first delicate texture using gesso so I'm getting the pad and if you for example looking for the black paste you can use black gesso as a paste used with the stencils right so you apply 
yeah. nice texture. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. if you will play with the texture tool, this is going to dry like this. It's not going to go flat. Let me show you. So this is one of the good things about heavy gesso. It will be not as good as a texture paste, but for the delicate textures, it is going to hold the pick. So even if you want to start, with thank you for nice, inviting. This is ju just gesso will help you work a little bit. So this is white, of course. Dry yes, all right. And white, and we have black. The only different one is clear gesso. Clear gesso is liquid, and it's very very smooth because thank you for all for, for those in white. A matte finish, and we want to make it very even coat. So it's different to these two. So we have heavy black, Thank you. heavy white, and just clear gesso. Okay, so that is it. So now I clean it quickly. And I want to show, want to show you how you can apply just a brush. Thank you for the shares and the invites. You can, of course, use a small brush to go on. I prefer big ones. But we also have silicone brushes now and they are super big and they're great for palette knife as a palette knife. So for example, I need a black tag because I want you to see how the paints work. So I take one of my tags and very quickly using the dress I'm going to paint it for almost like three moves and ready. Hello, thank you all for joining in. It's Finnabar from Frankfurt, live from Creative World. It's great when you would like to have a thin layer of your medium. It may be gesso, it may be paste, it may be soft gel, but because this is flexible, it works very really nicely. And if you work on the stencil, the same way. You can spread a lot, or you can go really fine on the stencil, and then the coat will be really, really smooth. Good thing, it's easy to clean because silicone doesn't really keep anything on it. You can just clean it right away, which is great. So if you see my brushes, usually you see it is going to be a lot of paint here and then this part is clean. Whoops. Whoops. Magic happened, nothing. It's okay. So we have this in two sizes. This is two inches and then there is half inch like this. Yeah. So two different this may be ones. for uh, for just so that may be really easy to use. Um, for art mediums, for your stencils, one of the new items too. And I need it yeah, because their I want you new to silicone brushes are yes. uh, they're shipping yes, the are them right now. Just to show you. And you know the samples are not pickable too. <laughs> yeah, some of the jars and some samples just fall. You can see, and very helpful, so everybody knows his job. He's great. So you can see how thin the gesso is now. You can take your heating gun, it's going to dry in a moment. So yeah, black gesso there are two is awesome. ways of getting nice effects. Uh, usually I would say white color looks better with bright colors because then they really pop. And when you try to just dry brush metallic on, uh, on white, it may be very pale, it may be not really visible. Um, I think it looks more dramatic and more exciting on black and um, sprays will do a very very good job on the white uh, surface so I'll just show you quickly how you can work with uh, two different looks you can see just so it's dry already yeah, yeah that dries right really quickly okay so, so let's say on one tongue, real magic is going to happen soon like this. and on the other tongue look like this okay so let's start with the white, and with the white, with the new paint, you can use any kind of shimmering spray. I have a prototype of the pixie dust here, so you really want to see this. Green, this is pure needles, this is fairy pond, and this is uh, dragonfly blue, very pretty color, like deep turquoise color. And you can also Thank you for uh, use all the, the gesso as a little bit of the resist. So if you want your color to mix, gesso will help you. Because otherwise sprays soak into paper, into paper flowers with gesso they don't. So you can just mix different colors and play. I have water in the sprayer. It's really water, it is a bit dirty, but it is water. 
you can just shake any kind of shimmering spray. So this is shimmer on the bottom, you have to shake a bit. Right. Adding a bit of color because it's very small cut. You know, super space. Let me go a bit closer in so you can see. Maybe some green. And now you can leave it as it is if you like it, but I think it looks much better when you spray some water and they start to react and mix. So you can make the colors drip. Cool, right? right. Beautiful. So it doesn't usually happen when you work on just on paper. Yes. Paper will like to absorb that inside. So just so makes it easier to do. So. Right? So now before painting, of course, we have to make sure that we have dry surface so the colors are not going to mix. So if you have any questions now, I'm very happy to answer because we have a short moment in drying. Yeah. If you have any questions, <laughs> ask your time. Yeah. And then we are going to do different finish. We can finish that with the pearly uh, paints, for example, the Opal Magic Blue Gold. And Opal Magic Green Gold. It's going to be nicely going with this, I believe. It will be nice finish. So I'm just drying the colors quickly. And I'm going to take a brush and just add some highlights to the heart, uh, maybe a little bit to the bottom, to make it more visible and more shiny. So this effect is great for people who are more into pastel, um, more yeah, colors, those colors not are really awesome. Mm. That's a very pretty the look. Pixie it's dust. Not maybe my favorite, but I really aren't shipping really just yet. Uh, but it. in the spring, just so because it but the paints are now. Yes, yeah. If I could, I would probably paint everything black. In the spray so burners, it's still I just understand it is not for everybody. Okay, so you it's fix almost it dry dust. now. I'm just checking. It's yeah. not just out yet, Ready but will go. be during the summer, the spring. So um, this is pretty as it is, but you can add some um, finishing. You can add some glitters. You can add some metallic paints. You can add some opalescent paints. There's the so pigment or, would be really good or the shimmer and just in the bottle, and you need to add the water. So it's really easy to ship, and it won't spill. And the full metallic. I will just show you how they work on different surfaces, okay? So, I had my black yes. bag here. I have exactly, my white comes as powder. Boom sprays come as they are, and with the big to dust, you need to add right. the water. So, maybe let's take similar color from this one. This is going to be and blue, metallic, this is for magic. So, you can use both paints. This is because this contains pigment and shimmer, and this contains only shimmer in two colors. Okay? So, first, quick demo metallic paint. You can see it's really rich, nice color. It's the new acrylic okay. paint. It's really Art nice alchemy mix, but you paint. never know, right? So just to, and this is nice patina color. It's called light patina. It's having this bluish tone in it. So I just take another brush. And Let's go in. Put on the white. It is nice, delicate tone. If you put on the black, it's going to be the same color, but with the lighter color, you probably need two coats to get the full coverage. With the darker colors, no yeah. problem. The color of the paint is patina. It's going to be one coat and it's going to be visible. Depends which color you pick. If it's something is lighter tone on the black, it always goes a little bit more visible. Yeah. So this steampunk copper, steampunk copper. Yeah. So that is the metallic finish. And I just put it here top. on this side with other metallic paints. We have 12 coming okay, of the colors, but mm -hmm. I can tell you this is not the end. Right. Just a little teaser, it's not the end. But again, it's easier <laughs> when it comes <laughs> maybe later. This right? So, metallic finish and then opal magic finish. Just to show you. So, can you speak any German? Opal magic blue gold. It looks like. This blue mint color, really nice. And now there's some ma really magic going to happen. Catching the light, and then the same color.
goes into gold on the black. Just look at it. Okay. Changes the light. There's blue the, and there's gold. That's how the that's so color awesome. the looks on the different surface. So the other one people yeah. like to see Magic. is the one which is called aqua uh, rose. Aqua rose is the pink, and you can imagine it turns into aqua. It's opal magic aqua rose. Just Let's go in. Yes. Don't do that at home. Okay. Okay, so aqua <laughs> rose. So we have rose visible. You see the rose? And it goes into aqua. Like. Right? Oh, so magic. they are very, very really magic rays. <laughs> so they make people happy. If you like this pearlescent finish on the white, you can take your, know, you know, white flower, and you can add a nice color to it. You can take the resin element as it yeah, is. it's really, and then really you can cool. Add this beautiful pearly finish. Very nice for Thank you for all the for hearts. For people yeah. like this shabby elegance. You can just use it as any other acrylic paint. So you can just, you know, put white gesso on the box, paint it with this opalescent colors. It's going to be like, right? But there's a dark side, right? And on the dark side, people like a different look, and you can use them for the same, uh, for the same techniques. So you can get this effect using the same paints, opal magics. So this is going to be the next step. So just to show you. So yeah. I take the opal magic. Two different looks, one paint. Opal How magic. cool is that? So you can see this is the same paint. Right? Magic. Light. Light. Color on the white and on the black. And two on the bottom are metallic ones. So they look the same on the white and on the black. Ah. Yeah. Can you believe? <laughs> There's a fl flurry of hearts. Thank you so much. Hello, thank you. I'm not going to comment that it's already just about the dark. Why are you blushing? Because that's what you are doing to me, Adam. Just go. Okay. Now, we have this finish. We want to add some highlights. So this opal look looks really nice on this. So let's go for maybe this green gold and blue gold. They're kind of similar color palette, so they should be nice. Add on maybe on the heart. It's hard to paint upside it's down. Art but... alchemy. Art alchemy acrylic paint. Yeah, these are the new ones that we released this show. So they're just catching the light. And then, of course, it's more fun when you add another color to it. Right? So it's going to get a little bit Beautiful. of this right. other finish. So it's going to catch <coughs> the light. And you can play the way you like. And I believe adding two, three tones <coughs> will always make it more interesting because the light will catch and it will be the cut uh, differently. So just playing this just way. Just that shimmer. Right, and you can do on the buttons. If you have any texture in the background, you can do the texture. Oh. But it's just... They're shipping right now, so they will be stores very soon. Okay. Maybe in one week, two weeks. Let me show you. Blow some. Gorgeous. Yeah, this is what it is. And I was just using these two paints together. Now I can use the same kind of paint to make effect on this tag. Right? So I just clean my brush and now I'll just dry brush them instead. So I'll be adding a little bit of the paint. That is great about dry brushing technique because you use a bit of paint and you have amazing effect. So let's Thank say you, I'm Anna. starting with the same Thank blue you, gold. Kat. So on this, it's going to be gold color. Take a bit on my brush, making sure it is wet in paint. Alright. Now, cleaning that off on the paper towel. We don't have the paper towel, but on the paper towel. Right. And then... Just maybe fold it here, so you can see. You just start dry brushing. You can dry brush a little bit on the background too. And the more you brush, the more shiny it gets and it's really easy technique to do for everybody. So you can just play gorgeous, right? Adding two or three tones. So maybe I just clean the brush and I take the aqua rose so we will have this patina color on it. So the aqua.
You have the same thing. Make sure the brush is having the paint inside. Then cleaning it off. And maybe I have the paper towel. I think I stole a little bit from the bathroom. So, okay. yeah, so you can see how pink it is on the paper towel. Let's go in again. Trying to. Sorry. Yeah. Pink. And then I'm just having a little bit. And then, look what happens. That is how we're going to look on the black. So this is one of the ways you can use any kind of acrylic metallic paint from my line and any kind of opal magic. So there are different colors, uh, different combinations. I'm sure you all have your favorites because I have my Here favorites too. <laughs> of course. Because there's always different. something exciting. Like, can you really... Resist this purple. I just can't. Look. Beautiful. Purple. <laughs> right? And silver. Really and this is one of my favorites, surely, because it's so rich. And there's beautiful gold and this silver. Mm, just to show you another favorite. Right? And the Opal Magics, they come in eight combinations. They but are art alchemy you look at it, acrylic paints from Prima Marketing. Because the label will tell you what is the second color. New, so, brand new, but shipping now. These are the colors we have. Okay. And they all have different combinations. Just to show you. So this is just blue gold, you know already. Right? Blue gold. Blue gold. There is yellow blue, which is yellow, so you expect the blue is going to, ha to come, right? Then there is violet, violet green, so you can see green, the violet is going to show. And the yellow gold, uh, green gold, you know already. This is a pink blue, another very exciting combination. So, of course, pink is going to be inside, you know, on the black. There is violet gold, so it's nice violet tone with gold coming. They want them all. <laughs> well, uh, aqua rose, you know already. And the last one is rose gold, which is this nice rosy tone, and then gold inside. So, all these, they work the same way as the ones I show you. You see one color on white, second color on black. And so the opal really magic fun. ones. So they should be in the shops in the next two, three weeks, I hope. I hope. So you can ask. Metallic ones, it's at uh, the same time. So we have different colors, whatever you prefer. Oranges, pinks, khaki lime colors. We've got golds, reds. So anything that is uh, pleasing. Those are the metallic paints. So these Let are the ones show you, you the can lid. see now. So. This is the combination of the colors you can do very easily. So you can see from the bottom to the top, it is not a complicated process at all. Yeah, that I know. It gives you the inspiration, what you can I need do. them all too. In fact, <laughs> the more you play, the more ideas for the different mixes you have. So if you make one mix Thank you. that you like, Thank you can you start coming. thinking what else you can put inside of your paste. A lot of information shared today. How you can create today. different effects. So some of them will be just very cool with the different stencils. So you can have crackle stencil, you can have uh, just big small stencils and very delicate ones. That makes totally different effect. Uh, adding color into that, adding glitter into that, adding shimmer into that, that works perfectly. And then again, just so it's your very best friend, I have to tell you, that helps with everything. It's great for people who make flat collage projects, uh, journal pages, anything, because that primes the page. But also for us who make them dimensional and we paint, it's also primer. And gluing, for example, heavy body gel, it's good to call your good friend. So thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I can give you a little round around the booth if you want now so I can show you what is here. And um, do you I want to go around with you want around, I can show you what is inside and we can have a look at the Prima booth in Frankfurt show. Okay? Yep. So there's a lot of parts oh, going thank on. You. So okay. Thank you so much. Oh, it's good to see you now. I can look at the screen. Well, big hearts for Rika. Rika was our helper and she was so cool. Yes. Oh my, you've got 27 already. That's your fast, my dear. Okay.
So this is the collection I was talking about, the new mechanicals, the one that we have here, and some of them they have rust, and we have the samples showing how you can use them in different ways. This project is in fact on the... Uh, thanks, thanks, Rika. <laughs> uh, it's on the blog as a tutorial not so long ago, so you can just see. This is the collage I posted not so long ago on Wednesday. So you can see it um, in real, uh, in better shot. So here are the other samples. You can have a look at our art mediums. And look at mini packs of the art mediums. Yes, Rika is amazing. She is great. Then we have the brushes. We have the mica powders. We have our lovely people who are joining us here and watching all the time. So hello. <laughs> Thank you so much. And then, if you have a look here, they are the biggest ribbons you can imagine. So these are the huge size ribbons you can put on your furniture. You can just put them on the walls if you prefer. This is IOD. It's coming in April, I think. So mega size stamps and the rollers. So here they are. Thank you. You are so nice. Oh my God. You are so pretty. You are lovely people. Thank you. It's just amazing. Here, uh, look at the dies. So this is the new release of the dies. Some of the favorite uh, designs, slightly different. More of the leaves, more of the doilies, which we loved so much. And then double-sided ribbon. Double-sided ribbon that is having the sticky side. So you can put foil on the top and you can put glitter on the top. So you can see this is with the foil finish. I can see my dirty fingers already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> You're so nice, thank you so much. And you can see that you know colors come in different combinations, amazing designs, a lot of beautiful samples too. Those of you who like watercolor, this is your kingdom. Look, we have beautiful watercolor confections, paints, and then all the surfaces to work on here. I mean the different size of the tags and papers and watercolor pencils to play. I just love how the foil goes together with the watercolor. Just look at this sample. Thank you. Thank you, Donna. It's so good to see you. Oh, and we go here. Prima flowers, prima leaves, uh, all time favorites, different combinations in big boxes this time. I try to go around the table. Okay. So you can have a look. Different combinations. Some of them, in fact, come with glitter and beads, like these ones. So you can decorate them yourself if you want to, which is really, really cool. Then some other all-time favorite roses, some girl shapes, there are some stencils. These are going to be in mixed media place too, I'm just saying. I ordered them all for you. And some lanties, which are lamps that you can put in your studio. And I will just go behind them. And you can oh, and you can have a look at the Vintage Emporium collection. Beautiful papers and flowers. There is salvage district, lovely. And then we have to go around just to show you another look. Busy busy talking about business which is not my thing, honestly. I prefer to show you that. Thank you, Donna. Donna, I think we did the first year and we did a really good job. Next year it's going to be better, just to show you. Another collection, Tales of You and Me. This is Frank's collection. And then Seashore behind, so I'm not going to go that close. So just to show you, you, have, you can have a look at the, the whole show. So you can see it's really busy. <laughs> that is shown Frankfurt going this way, trying not to bump on somebody. And now different places, different angles. It's really, really big. So we are in creative world section and this is Prima Marketing. So I want to tell you huge thank you for joining us. And <laughs> hi, how are you? And I hope that you had a good time. I was trying to do that demo as fast as I could for you. So I hope it was nice. I just tried to flip a little bit. Hi, it's me. It was good to see you. Oh my God, I'm so sweaty. So it is lovely to see you all. Thank you for coming. 
thank you for being with us and uh, I hope you enjoyed my second ever Periscope. So thank you and you know, greetings from Frankfurt and oh, thank you, have a good day and I hope to see you soon. Thank <laughs> you.